and welcome back to York Sims. That was a bit of a weird one. Sorry, I've just uh, I've just seen the conjuring, so I seem to be in a bit of a like weird James Wan style horror filmy mode. I came back to uh, play York Sims, and this picture appeared on the screen. I have never seen The Sims do this, and I probably won't again. Slightly concerned that there's now a ghost in the machine, but let's push on and let's pretend it didn't happen. Uh, so, today we are with the Dreamstream House at university. Let's very quickly run through what they are doing. Uh, now you will notice I've I've got dares for everyone, so except for Parv, because Parv's done his. Somehow, uh, woohooing with another sim is a jock dare. I would say if I was a jock, and if you don't know what a jock is, it's like sports guys at schools, you know, with the jackets are considered to be jocks. It's a very American thing. But if I was a jock, I'd probably, I'd be quite insulted that that is a considerable dare. And arguably, although okay, arguably it is The Sims and it's all, you know, just a game. It's not setting a very good example, Maxis, is it? You know, encouraging people to take dares just to sleep with uh, other Sims at parties. Not setting a good example for your, uh, your game, but never mind. This is Sam. Sam's stolen some. I'm going to stay this zoomed out because it's there's just as you can see there's music everywhere, so it's just a disaster. Now this I've moved these guys into a fraternity house because I thought we'd have a look and see what the difference is between this and a normal house. So these guys are based here. Normally I move everyone into one of these, and these are a bit more sedate. But the fraternity houses seem to be a bit better I, I think it's probably a massive lie but as you can see you've got this like outside area and it's very very like lol what so look at this you've got this bit here with the as far as I can tell the the Hogwarts flags with a slight difference and you've got this oh, I thought what the hell is this but actually oh dear Parv stop eating shit as you can see, we've got this crazy, like, basement area downstairs. Oh, well done, Martin. So everyone, there was a party at their house, which kind of didn't really work because the only attendees were people from the house. But never mind, they had a nice time. So uh, let's let's go through everyone's list. So here we have Strippin's room. As you can probably tell, he's doing a degree in physical education, which makes sense with the whole lifeguard, martial arts, whatever thing. So I popped a few different things in his room. Uh, you know, different chin ups and things. chin chin ups and and pumping iron. Oh, well done. So he obviously wants to be a jock as well. So there we go. Uh, oh, oh, he's he's. I don't know what he's just done, but he's having a nice time. So he wants to be a jock, which kind of fits in with the whole sports thing. So good for him. So he's he's fairly sorted. This is Martin's room. He wants to drink juice until he's super juiced, which is alcohol in The Sims. Again, amusing, because you can woohoo, which is sex, but you can't drink alcohol. Just like some of the crazy, crazy logic behind these games is just absurd. So Martin is doing a degree because obviously he used to be a radio DJ uh, and he is a chatty man. He's doing a degree in communications. I think he's also... Are you still a hairdresser, Martin? I don't know what you are, actually. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Did you have a job? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did uh, fashion fledgling for a short period of time and got to, like, number one, so that went well. But if you're going to be a hairdresser, you need to be able to chat, so I figured communications works well for him. And, you know, obviously that. So I've put a little podium in there. All right. I put a little podium in there for him, and, you know, he also wants to do painting, so, you know, I'll just let him do whatever. Uh, that's, that's all fine. Oh my god, there's just music everywhere. I can't be dealing with this. So those are the two. Those They're downstairs. I figured we'd put them downstairs. And then... Oh, it's all going on in here. This is... Someone's room. This is Sparkle and Parv's rooms. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one is which. I think... I think I've put Parv in... Oh god, which one have I put Parv in? Arguably, I should put sparkles in... Oh, no, I've put them in the wrong ones. Reset bed ownership. I should put them... Path's just throwing up there. Um, I should put sparkles in this bed because he plays keytar and the piano is the closest thing to the keytar. Uh, and then Path can go in here. 
Now, I did put guitars in their rooms, but uh, as you can see, they've been pinched already by this man. Uh, and Parv's at least got his own, thankfully. Uh, so, it's, it's going fairly well. Uh, uh, oh yeah, and Par obviously Parv and Sparkle's both doing fine arts, because that's the closest thing to a music degree. That's a good point. We need a Bonehilda coffin. We do need a Bonehilda coffin. Now, can I find her? Because every time I fail this, she's... There she is. Because, like, these guys... These, this is a fraternity house. So let's be realistic here. It's going to be a bloody tip very quickly. So Bonehilda coffin, definitely a good idea from the Parv. Now, what I've done for this specific one is um, I've actually set the course to be much, much shorter so that I can go through it much, much quicker. Um, it just it just makes it easier. Anyway, so what I thought I'd do is because obviously university life is very samey and it's going to be the same thing for everyone. What I'll do is I'll go through every single house once with university life. On the sixth episode, what I'll do is I will show you what happened to everyone, like a very quick summary of what happened to everyone, like social groups. Uh, what degrees they did, how they did, uh, and if anything note of note happened whilst they were at uni. And if it didn't, then it didn't. Uh, and that is probably the best way of doing it because it's not really going to make much like difference after this. It's Sadly, it's not as good an expansion as I was hoping. Um, it's, it really isn't. It's, it's okay. But the the main problem I have is this is a separate world to everything else, right? You can't possibly bring people with you. You have to then put your friends in random houses nearby. But then they're not actually studying at university. They're just living there. And you lose all the relationships that you had with them. People in your house can come and visit you. Friends, it's a bit difficult. You can call them up, but it's still a pain in the ass. And I, that's what I don't like about this expansion. Whereas Island Paradise, we can pop them all in. They're all in houses. It's not a problem. They will interact with each other naturally. There's only one world for that. So every time I play Sims Island Paradise, the other houses progress alongside and they save everything. Whereas this is just isolated individual saves. And I don't like that at all. I really don't like that about the Sims university life. Also, because it's a Thursday, it's not a big deal. Friday is still the Island Paradise. Island Paradise is going to carry on and on and on because why the hell not? <laughs> it will continue on until, uh, what is it, Back Into the Future starts, which is the robot future thing that sounds really cool and looks really cool. Uh, and then I will swap over then because it, it sort of works out in the time frame if we're looking at how long the original Yog Sim series was. It's probably a similar amount of time. And then hopefully Sims 4 will be out next year and we can do the whole thing again with Sims 4 if it's actually any different at all. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it's, it's you know, there's a few things that make it of interest to look at. But I guess we'll see how it works. But who knows, frankly. It could be, it could be fantastic. I just, I'm very doubtful that it's going to be any different to every single other iteration of The Sims, which is exactly the same every time. So we'll see how it goes, I think, with that. The Juice Kegger. Oh my God. He's off, he's having it. He's, oh my God. Good God, change volume. Oh, that's better. Drink your drink, come on, drink your drink. There you go. Have some, no, 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 have some more. Do a keg stand with Parv, come on. I'm determined to get you to do this. Come on, Parv, where have you gone? Here we go, are you ready for this, everyone? This is the keg stand. Oh, check that out. Well done. You're both very, very, Naughty boys, you're a bit juiced. You need some more. You need some more juice. Come on, mine. Keep kegging. No, no, no. Do a keg stand with Parv again. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's super juiced now. Here we go. Right. Completed the dare. So we had some money for that. He's also gone up in the circles. So now, of course, it's streaking time because you're really drunk. 
that's how it works, right? Oh no! Don't go outside. That's like uh, that's that's a criminal offence. Going outside. Oh god, that's it now. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's a happy man, isn't he? <laughs> I do not regret this at all. I'm sure Martin will when he watches this. Path, we're throwing a party. Get this party on. We have in a juice keg a party. We're gonna invite. Oh my god, we're gonna. Uh, who's. Oh, Stephen's girlfriend. Sure. I was like, we don't have no girlfriend. You don't have no girlfriend, you girlfriend, you girlfriend. You don't have no girlfriend. Mm -mm. Uh, casual attire. Uh, 2 a.m.? I don't somehow think everyone's going to come to that. You know, I think what we'll do instead... I'm just going to invite all these people, because why not? How many am I allowed? Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, let us do... Um, I'm going to say 7pm because that's a much more re like realistic time and it means that everyone everyone can get ready. We're gonna have a party. Let's put some shit in the garden so we can have a nice time. You know what, I need a, I, I want a bit of Kanye, but there's no ca- Aw, oh, Dance with Flair? What's this, Martin? What's Dance with Flair? What's Dance with Flair, homeboy? That's not Flair, that's dancing like my dad. Although, shake that tush. Yeah, boy, shake that ass. Whoops, I mean, girl, 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 girl. You know you're my world. Right now, lose it. Do, 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 do. That's terrible. That's not dancing with flair. Oh, no, that's a bit flary. Suddenly out of nowhere. Christ. Oh, my God. Have some juice. You shouldn't be having juice at 5 a.m. I'm sure there's something wrong with the world with if a university student is up at 5 a.m. having already slept and is pouring juice for themselves and they're going to uni. Oh God, he's going to go to uni drunk. Don't do it, Martin. Don't drink and study. Oh well. Oh my God, this is amazing. We're getting another one of these. It's party time. Oh yeah. It's not party time yet, but oh my god, these are amazing. Why didn't we buy these sooner? Oh my god, he really doesn't like them. Well, tough shit, mate. This is my lot. I make the rules. Oh my god, we're not having that. Fog, we've had, we've tried that. Lasers. Short. Oh, actually, continuous. Okay, and then this one. Uh, no, sorry. I want lasers and I want... That's that's exactly what I want. Oh, doesn't that look good? That is like... Eye cancer. They are going to absolutely hate this. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Look at this shit. The party. I'm ready for this party. I am so ready for this party. Martin, welcome back, my friend. What do you think? I'm not impressed, are you? Can you? Uh, what time is it actually? Oh, it's not time yet. It's not time for. It's not time. Oh God, Sam's like having a massive spaz attack because he's unhappy. Parv's asking a question. Oh shit! Hang on. Why can we view this class? Why can I view this class, but I can't view any other classes? That's really strange. 
But okay, let's watch Parv. Let's watch Parv. Oh my God, Parv. What are you doing? Parv. Look at this shit. You can't do this. Hey, the first guests arrived. Party on. Pat it on. Pat it on and pat it on. These are not rocking dances. This is the same dance for all three of you, but it's described as different things. That's awful. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, convinced to make out with. Uh, are there any women here? There are no women here. Oh no, make out with her. Sparkles, sparkles, make out with her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, he's off. Oh, this is bad. What am I doing? I shouldn't be convincing these things. Whoa. Oh dear. You failed. On all accounts. You failed. Terrible. Go and do a juice kit. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I haven't failed. We'll leave you to it, mate. Good lord. Crazy streaking lady. This is all over the place. This keeps getting turned on. Good lord. I hope nothing's going on in people's beds. As in, I should specify, I hope no guest is using someone's bed. Ah, oh, nice. Someone bought an angel cake. Oh, very nice. Very kind of them. Well, hopefully everyone's having a nice time, even though no one is dancing. They're all just standing around in the buff near the juice keg. Oh, my God. Do, do. Oh, oh, dear. I guess this is what happens when Sims have juice. They just all take their clothes off and run around like small children. I just don't know anymore. I just, it's, it's beyond me. They're having a nice time, whatever they're doing. What are you doing? Be lectured? Oh God, someone caught you streaking. Oh no, the police caught Parv streaking. Oh no, the cops are here, everyone. The cops are here. Oh shit. Sheet, sheet. Oh dear, oh dear. I hope he's very angry with Alex. Oh dear. Terrible. Well, I hope no one else is streaking because they're going to get caught out. Lol. Oh my god, he's coming. He's coming. Hang on. He's actually coming. Is he coming to the house? No. Oh my god, look. The police. Whoop, whoop. It's the sound of the police. Oh, he's leaving. Thank god. I was going to say, if he comes in the house, oh shit, you're lucky Harold Assange, you've just missed out on the cops, oh shit, the cops are here again, uh oh, uh oh, what have we done, I'm scared, oh my, oh my god, oh shit, um, we might be in a spot of bother here, Pav, Oh my god. Why are you getting lectured? What have you done now? Have you streaked again? Oh my god, it was broken up by the police. Holy shit, it was that. Oh my. You sure know how to throw an awesome party? See you later. Oh man. What? Well. Awesome verging on Epic. Everyone is going to be talking about it for years. Oh, yeah. Did well. Fuck you, police. Did well. So awesome that the police had to break it up. So we know how to throw a party in this house, in this frat house. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to leave it there with these guys partying on. And uh, next week, it'll be the Nazi Panda house. And, uh, and then after that, Everyone gets to see what the results are for everyone at their party own houses. So I will see you next time, everyone, for more Yog Sims. Thanks for watching.